I'm Charlene Stevens, the City Administrator for the City of Cottage Grove. Joining me today for Council Update is Council Member Steve Dennis. Today we're going to talk about a year-end update. Council Member Dennis, it's a good time of the year two th as the 2015 draws to a close to give citizens kind of a year-end up update. What kind of year did Cottage Grove have? Absolutely, and, and thank you for the chance to do this. It's a pleasure. Um, as you might recall, about two weeks ago, I asked you to contact our department directors and have them provide us kind of the, the biggest accomplishments of the year and put that into uh, to a basic highlight package. And then what I did is I put some additional information with that, spun it all up and to create uh, what I think is a really good uh, year-end review. So from both a development and an administrative perspective, 2015, in my opinion, has been a very, very successful year. And today, it's my goal to share some measurable results that I think we can all be very proud of. In the business park, we'll start out, we assisted a number of our major business partners with expansions that included Warner Electric, Renewal by Anderson, Up North Plastics, and American Logistics. Additionally, we had the opening of LeafLine Labs, which occurred and benefited substantially uh, by our fast tracking method and forward vision. We also structured the sale of some acreage to Hillcrest Development, who is marketing what's called the Southeast Business Park. Uh, this is being marketed to prospective investors, and we're hoping to get a couple new companies in with them. And then due to the buzz of all the success going on and all those cranes that are down there, uh, we uh, have a, a, a lot of success in terms of creating what I call a business friendly and business forward philosophy. So we will have as a result of this and all the hard work going on, two brand new companies that will be joining the park in 2016 that we'll have to look forward to. And then uh, with the successful results of, of the aforementioned growth, our community will see both an associated tax increase and upwards of 900 new jobs that will help to bring a lot of new people here to the community. Uh, that'll be a great uh, return because we'll get more people who want to eat and buy products at our stores and some that will want to move in here like we did. So it's awesome. Uh, for the community in general, I think the biggest uh, news of the year is the slated redevelopment of the Gateway North Shopping District. Now this pertains uh, to the Home Depot and Rainbow Foods project that has been ongoing in an attempt to achieve closure for the past eight years. This accomplishment represents perhaps the single greatest push forward in the economic development realm in the history of our community. And it required a monumental effort on the part of our entire team. Now when construction begins next year, uh, what I call the long-term scar that has affected our community for almost eight years will begin to heal, and that'll be very good. Um, additionally, we had a very busy year providing more than $51 million in commercial and industrial construction permits. Excellent. On another front, after years of neglect, redevelopment of the old Russian rodeo building is underway. A self-storage business, including some new buildings and a very attractive facade, will greatly improve the aesthetics of our Highway 61 corridor. And lastly, we had 64 new home permits purchased this year, totaling value of over $20 million. Now, 2015 as a whole was really a year of some substantial transition for us, as we had a number of significant staff changes. Now, whether occurring as retirements, moves to other government organizations, or those who chose to join the private sector, we saw a number of changes in areas, including city administrator, city clerk, economic development director, and a number of key support positions. The reason that I bring this up is that many would consider, with turnover like that, that we'd be in a rebuilding year. Instead, we took the challenge up and worked as a team to circle the wagons and ensure that the job at hand was not only done, but it was done well. And this speaks to the quality of our team. I believe that a company's greatest asset is its people, and we are very fortunate to have an amazing team of people here. And this is from top to bottom, front to back, and side to side. So if you're a member of the team, whether you create a meeting or agenda, type it up as a memo, fill a pothole as, at a busy intersection, coordinate youth activities for our parks, or respond to an emergency call at three in the morning, Everyone on this team is extremely valuable and very important. Both the community and your council appreciates the difference you make in supporting our city's success. And speaking of success, as an organization, we orchestrated an in-depth five-month search for a brand new city administrator. 
on October 5th, we were very pleased to have you join our team. Thank you. Uh, you come to us uh, with over 20 years of leadership experience in local government and most recently served as the city administrator for the city of Wilmer. Uh, you also have a master's degree in public administration from the University of Kansas and an undergraduate degree in international relations. All things that we hope you can put to work for us. Well, here. I'm excited to be here, so thank you. Now, we're also happy to say that you and your family recently moved in That's here great. to Cottage Grove, and we know that you're looking very forward um, to engaging with the community and helping us to have an even higher level of success as we go forward. I'd also like to recognize at this time uh, Mr. Craig Woolery, who is our public safety director. Um, he accepted at the time the challenge and the responsibility of filling in as interim city administrator. And not only he, but all of our other directors and our staff did a wonderful job of getting us through that time period. Now with that said, I have a brief summary of some accomplishments that we had by department. So starting out in community development, we had uh, redevelopment efforts on the Gateway North Shopping District, which will include high V and a uh, $26 million investment that they'll be making here in our community. Um, we also have uh, a pending relocation of Merchants Bank and then the purchase and resale of the Home Depot property. So in essence, we're gonna have that whole thing fixed and settled and people are gonna be really happy. Also operating as a team, our directors and staff worked together while we were shorthanded to achieve every single economic development challenge that was put before them. And I think that's amazing. From the area of finance, the city received the Government Finance Officers Association Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting, and that's a big one, for the 25th consecutive year. This is a very, uh, very impressive note because this is the highest form of recognition given to a government for financial accounting and, and, and uh, standing records. Additionally, we successfully transitioned several uh, utility billing and information technology staff to fill positions that were vacated by retirements of long tenured personnel. From Parks and Rec, uh, the, we continued expansion of the parks and trail system while maintaining and upgrading current facilities. In 2015, Sunny Hill Park and Cedarhurst Meadows were opened, while Hamlet and Woodridge Parks received renovation work that improved their aesthetics and their functionality. Additionally, efforts were coordinated to protect and restore Cottage Grove's natural resources by improving habitat for numerous ecosystems that included water and air quality and landscape management in a number of parks. These included Hidden Valley, West Draw, Pine Tree Pond, Hardwood, and our Gateway North open space, plus the River Oak Scenic Overlook. In public safety, we move to a duty crew system that has made a significantly lower average response time result. Uh, this has allowed for numerous success stories in both EMS and fire, and through the process, we have the lowest average response times of any public safety department in Minnesota, which I think is phenomenal. Also, the Hero Center project continues with ongoing design work as we await the next bonding award. This center offers significant opportunities for partnerships between Woodbury, Cottage Grove, Regions Hospital, and surrounding agencies as a regional training center. Lastly, labor contracts for our police sergeants were successfully negotiated and settled that'll take us all the way through 2018. From Public Works, we installed a new fleet management software program called PubWorks. This software will allow us to go paperless, provide faster and easier tracking of maintenance costs, keep track of inventory and preventative maintenance schedules, and more efficiently generate financial reporting. Staff also quickly mastered the operations of a rented track paver, resulting in improved efficiencies for installing asphalt. The new paver allowed our crews to achieve a 50% increase in the amount of asphalt compared to a normal year and in less time. So very good. In closing, Cottage Grove's direction and position is very strong. We continue striving to improve our processes, to bring great return to our community through innovative leadership, to offer excellent value and services provided, and remain fully dedicated to the needs and concerns of our city with a positive can-do spirit. We have an amazing team that includes our council, both new and current staff, and a number of outstanding community members who volunteer their time and efforts to serve on various city commissions, including the Economic Development Authority. So as I wrap up my first year here in the council chair, 
Um, I'd like to share a very quick story. About two weeks ago, uh, when we had our holiday light ceremony, my grandson came for a little visit. And uh, so as part of this, we got pictures with Santa, and I brought him up to the council dais. He got to sit in my chair. We got a picture together. And he said something to me. He says, Grandpa, he says, you're really lucky to sit up here. And you know, he's absolutely right. And it's not just myself, but it's the whole council, it's our staff. We all feel lucky and appreciate the opportunity to serve this great community and help to make our home be a better place. So 2015 has been a great year, and I really believe that the future of our city has never been brighter. I'd like to thank everyone who worked very hard to make this achievable, and I look forward to more success coming. Great, thank you, Council Member Dennis, and I know we all look forward to an exciting and uh, wonderful 2016. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.